guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So today's video is going to be another pretty big Target haul. I told you guys in my last video that I had another Target haul coming your way, so here it is. And I know it's not the prettiest background I'm working with right now, but I'm currently sitting on the floor of my bedroom because that is where I've been collecting everything for this haul. So I'm excited to film this video, not only so you can see the great things I've been finding at Target, but also so I can get all that stuff off my floor and put it away and start using it. So I've got home decor, I've got clothing, swimsuits, some baby clothes, a little bit of everything as per usual. So without further ado, let's jump into the haul. All right, first up, I'm going to mention this random basket behind me, which probably looks so strange the way I have it set up right now. So this basket I found in stores. It was the only one. So hopefully I'll be able to find it online for you guys and link it below. But this is from the Project 62 line and it's just this classic big basket you could use it for toy storage you could use it for blankets like roll up some blankets put it in there like that i love to do that with baskets like this but what i actually got it for is to use as the base for a plant that we recently got for our bedroom it's the perfect faux plant basket let me tell you guys i'm actually just gonna the plant is not from target it's from amazon so this will be in a future Amazon favorites video. <laughs> Look at that, so simple, so chic, I love it. And it fits perfectly in the basket. And what I like about this basket, as you can see here, is that it has like sort of a rounded top. So it's a fairly large basket, but it doesn't have a super big opening at the top. So if you put a plant in it, it's not gonna look awkward or you don't have to stuff it with a bunch of stuff to kind of fill it up. I just plop this plant right in there. The base looks like that and boom, I'm good to go. It is so simple, I'm just obsessed. And now I can use it as the background for this video and make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> okay, so next up is funny enough, another basket. Um, this one is by Opal House and it's just this really cute little like basket woven vase thing. Again, this was the only one in person and what I've looked online for it, it's been available online and then it's disappeared online. So I'll try and find the link and link it down below for you guys. I think it was $30, which is kind of a lot for just a basket like this, but it's ethically handcrafted, it says, um, and it just, you know, I know it's one of those things that we'll have forever. So I actually put it on a stand that I got for our hallway outside of our room. This tanner on my hand is driving me crazy, so I apologize if it is also distracting for you, and if it's not and I just drew more attention to it, then please ignore. I'm gonna put this on a stand in our hallway upstairs. I think it's just the cutest like summery piece of decor. I know we'll be able to get a ton of use out of this. You could even put some like pompous grass in it and that would look super cute too. Next up, the next piece of home decor I got are these little hooks. So I have seen these hooks. This is also by Project 62. I've seen these hooks at Target for like months and months and months. And I always look at them and I never get them because I just never feel like I can think of any use for them. But I am trying, in my last Target haul, I talked about kind of revamping our guest room to make it kid friendly, but also guest friendly friendly and I think these hooks will be great for that. I feel like when we're giving the kids a bath I always have like little baby towels and you know the towels we use for them or those hooded baby towels like I always have those things left over and the hooded baby towels specifically are just so awkward to hang right so I feel like something like lit like this would be great for that because you can just hang the little baby towel right here so and they have this really pretty marble design and I think it was like 16 bucks or so. I'll put the pricing for everything right here too because one of you guys told me that would be helpful in my last Target haul so I'll be sure to do that um, but I think these are super cute and again speaking of like functional practical kid decor this is something we can use in the kids bathroom but then we could use these hooks really wherever after that too. Oh shoot I forgot to bring it up here. I got a really cute welcome mat as part of this haul. Super random but we really needed like a fresh welcome mat. I feel like something like that just really helps the entrance to your home look more put together. So I got this super cute, super simple welcome mat. And then what I got to go with it is actually this like woven rug. I don't think this will. It's pretty big. It's like bigger than the welcome mat. But I saw this idea, I think on Pinterest, of layering your welcome mat over a rug like this and it just helps it look a little more homey and styled. So I thought that would be really cute. I'm really into like, I don't know, sprucing up our entryway because I feel like we get so many package deliveries with my <laughs> online shopping that we have visitors and delivery people 
come into our door all the time. So I want it to look really homey for them. And I thought that would be a cute idea to layer the welcome mat over this rug. All right, next I'm just gonna go in order of whatever is in front of me. So the next thing that's in front of me is a pack of this, these mess-free markers. Um, good thing Christian's napping right now because if he heard me talking about these, he would rush in here. Like seriously, did I not tell you guys he would open it all up if he found it? He loves these things. These like mess free coloring sets are the only way I'll let him color. That's not true. So I've let him color in my journal with a pen and it's just like bad news bears. The kid is not allowed to have crayons or markers or anything yet because he is fully in the stage of like scribbling on the wall um, or anything else. So these are great because it comes with special paper and special markers so that you can only color on the paper by this brand and you can only like the markers only work on that type of paper. If he tries using these markers on the wall or any other kind of paper, it won't show up. So I love these things. The only thing is that he takes the cap off and he separates them and loses them so easily. Like we got him some of these for Christmas and by the time we left my brother and sister-in-law's house, we found so many markers like they were all under the couch, they were behind the TV, like he just loses them so easily. So I feel like I'm constantly buying these sets at Target, but they're like seven bucks, so it's not bad. And I try and save it as a treat for him. So he doesn't always expect it, but when he gets a coloring set like this, he's super excited by it. So we will be busting this out after he wakes up from his nap. Next up, I wanna talk about a swimsuit. I got a couple awesome swimsuits that I'm so excited about at Target. So this one is a blue two-piece. Um, I actually showed this one on my Instagram and I got a lot of questions about it because it is this really awesome, like if you are busty, if you have a bigger chest, this is an amazing bathing suit for you because it's a two-piece where the top is like a bandeau top, but it's a thicker fabric. Like look how wide this is. It's super supportive. It also has like these little, what are these called it's got like supports on the side too, to kind of like hold everything in place where it should go and then it has straps like this so it's really trendy like it's got the cut across the top and then it has straps like this I actually busted one of the straps when I was nursing at the beach so don't make the same mistake I did and adjust the straps because they are adjustable I did not adjust them I just wore it and then pulled wherever I needed to pull to breastfeed at the beach and I broke my swimsuit. So I actually ended up ordering a replacement top because this swimsuit could be worn strapless, which is great if you're not looking to get tan lines. But for me, I like to have a little extra support because I do have so much going on up top, especially when breastfeeding. So I ordered a second top same size, everything, but that way I have the straps and we go to the beach so much that having two of the exact same top is not a big deal whatsoever. So um, I got a medium in both. They're true to size, but like a tiny bit, not snug, but just like form fitting. So if you want a little extra room, I would go up a size, but the waist or the bottoms are super high waisted and then like a little cheeky. Um, when I wore these, wore this suit to the beach, I actually got a compliment by a woman who was like, oh my gosh, where did you get that suit? And when I told her it was Target, I think she was really surprised because it looks much more high-end than it is. And the blue color is like so bold. I'm just in love with it. So, but highly recommend, love that suit. And then I got a very, very similar one that I also showed on Instagram and it's this like hot pink version. This is like a hot pink coral version. The thing is I ordered this suit, swimsuit thinking it was the exact same as the blue one, just in a different color and it's not. It is a very different fit. As you can tell, it is a much smaller fit. So I kind of felt like I was like really busting out of this. I got a medium in this one too, and I probably will go back and get a large just to have variety there. This one also, the straps are more of a halter style. They don't go, you know, like your typical bra style. It's only a halter option, which is fine because you can still adjust it that way. And then the back has a couple different settings for the band. So I do really like this one. I will still wear it, but the blue one I just like a little bit more. But if you're looking for more color options, this suit has more color options. And then the bottoms, where are they? So this is what the bottoms look like. Again, that same great like bold coral color. Um, but as you can see, they are a little bit even more cheeky than the other ones. Not cheeky, but they got just like a little less coverage. They're also less high-waisted than the blue ones. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I had to run downstairs to go get these. 
I don't know if that even makes any sense, but you can see the blue ones are just like a tiny bit more high-waisted. The pink ones are high-waisted still, but just not quite as much just to give you my review there. And then the last swimsuit I got from Target is a one piece. This one is just like a leopard print one piece. I actually haven't worn this one yet, but it does have some padding and support on the inside, which I love. Probably not as nursing friendly as the bikinis, but that's okay. And then the sides are adjustable with like a scrunchy side, so you can customize the fit that way. I just think this is so cute and I love leopard print anything. I think the great thing about a one piece is I feel like I could wear it with shorts over it and it just sort of looks like a bodysuit. So it's more of like an outfit to the beach because we're constantly going and then sometimes I want to get in a swimsuit and sometimes I don't. So this would give me that flexibility. Um, next up, I got a couple pieces of clothes for myself. This is a really cute top that I don't know if I could find the link online, but if I can, I will. Again, it was one of those like last one available in stores, but it's by Wild Fable. You guys know I love them. They've got like my favorite jean shorts. They just, I feel like they have so many cute things from that line. And so this is like this peasant top from them. It's super stretchy and really comfortable. And what I like about this one is you could wear it off the shoulders or you could wear it with the shoulders kind up and get a little bit more of a peasant vibe. I just love white tops like this that have a little bit more style to them. I'm constantly in like white tank tops and t-shirts so any style that like you know fits my aesthetic color wise and that is more my vibe that way but has a little bit more flair to it in a sense I will totally go for so I really like this and again I got this in a medium as well too. Then another thing I think this is from Wild Fable as well is it? Yeah another thing I got from the Wild Fable line are these denim overall it's like overall dresses like this these are so i don't know why i'm saying these because it's one piece but it's an overalls style dress this is so cute and really comfortable it does not have pockets i wish it had pockets but that's okay um, but it was super affordable it does have the one pocket in the front and what i like about overalls is that they're nursing friendly you can wear a crop top underneath them or a tank top underneath and all you have to do is like let whatever side down it's really hard to find nursing friendly dresses and so overalls are a good way for me to do that and this is super stylish I think this would look great with sandals or sneakers and a hat and you could do so many different things with the t-shirts even as we transition into fall you could wear a turtleneck underneath it or something like that as well too so I just love this style trendy but comfortable and super versatile too then next up is a dress this one is by Universal Thread and it's in this really pretty burnt color you guys if you saw my last video I wore a black shirt and that was like super edgy for me because I'm typically just like always in some version of a white t-shirt and so I feel like I'm playing with color a lot. I've got black in that video, I've got like olive on right now and this rust color here. This is a really pretty again like peasant style dress. It's like a maxi dress but really flowy and it's got a super deep v-neck so it's nursing friendly because you could just pull it down in the front like that. I think this is another one that I'll probably layer with something underneath it like wear a tank top like this underneath it or it would be really great to just throw on over a swimsuit. It's really comfortable um, and the fabric is super lightweight so I see myself wearing this to the beach over a swimsuit and then being able to just take it off and stay really comfy there too but I love this dress so much okay then I got a couple pairs of shoes so you guys have probably seen me in these white slides non-stop for the last like year plus um, I often show them on Instagram and I showed them in my hospital bag video I wear these shoes almost every single day and a lot of times people think they're from Birkenstocks because Birkenstock makes a pair very similar, but nope, they are $16.99, I think, from Target. And I've worn them almost every single day for the last year and a half or so, and my pair just recently started to tear a tiny bit from me walking in them so much. So they restocked recently, so I picked up another pair. They do sell out pretty quickly on the website, but they did restock, so I grabbed another pair of the white pair, and then this time I also grabbed myself the same pair in black because I don't even need to say it. You guys know I like to get things in multiple colors and I will definitely use both of these too. I think there was one more, but there's a gray as well that I think they didn't have in my size, but if they did have my size, I would get them because these are so darn comfortable. You literally don't feel your feet at all wearing these. Like it feels like you're walking 
on a cloud of nothingness. It's These are so, so, so comfortable, especially for how affordable they are. So if they have your size and they're in stock, I would definitely snag them. They're so cute and easy to throw on and just go. Speaking of white shirts constantly, I got this white tank top from Wild Fable. It's funny, my last Target haul was like all hearth and hand. By the way, let me know if you guys say hearth and hand or hearth and hand, because I've heard it's supposed to be hearth, but I say hearth. Um, but now this whole video is like Wild Fable. But this is a, just a classic white tank from Wild Fable, and it's super fitted. It's actually the same one I have on right now, too. I have the olive one on right now, and then this is the white version. They run a little bit more snug than I thought they would. I'm not gonna lie. I got a small in both of them, um, and they're just, a, I, I, now that I've worn the, this green one a little bit today, it seems to fit better, but when I first put it on, I was like, ooh, that's tighter than I thought. But I really am in the market market for more fitted tops like this because I tend to go for oversized and then I don't know I just want to like embrace my shape more so stepping outside of my comfort zone getting more fitted tops I really like these tank tops they're really good quality they're only eight dollars um, and I like that they're a little bit shorter so I can wear them tucked into shorts without actually having to tuck much in so like this one that I have on now I've got my shorts pulled over it shorts are also from Target and it looks kind of like I have a bodysuit on, but I don't. So again, it's still like nursing friendly. So I really like that. I feel like this is becoming like a dressing while breastfeeding video, which I do want to put out. So let me know if you guys would like that. Um, but yeah, I really like these tanks. They're just like great quality for eight bucks. You can't beat it. All right, then a couple other random, well, I guess I'll show you Arlo's clothes first. So I got Arlo a couple of these little just like summery onesies. I love these things from Carter's because they're just one pieces so they're really easy. They have the snaps at the bottom so they're good for diaper changes. This one is so cute. It has a hood on the back. He actually has this same romper but in um, different prints that I think he outgrew. And you know what? I might have to take these back in exchange for the next size up because I've been holding on to this stuff for so long. These are size three months and he is pretty much almost in size six months. He's more on like the latter side of three to six months if that makes sense but this one has dinosaurs all over it really cute i'll try it on him um and then this one is striped and then on the butt it says beach bum which is just perfect for my kids you know it is so this one is size zero to three and this is cat and jack i think this one will probably fit him better but i love both of those those are just perfect for summertime for kids um, and then I also found this really cute set that is a onesie and pants set. So this onesie says little brother. Anytime I see anything that says, that says little brother, I want to snag it for him because it's, I just think that's adorable. Um, and then it came with these little gray pants that have like monster feet on it. I just like, I can't, I have no words. I have no words. It's just, it's so cute. So cute. And then this is a double set, a Batman set. So funny, Ezra had this in like a couple different versions, I think. But this was on sale. It was on clearance, I think, for $6, $6.50 in person. Um, and so there's this like classic gray Batman onesie. And then this one is just like a lighter gray printed one too. So I like these not just for during the day, but for sleeping too. It does get, it's been so warm here where we live that the footless sleepers like this have been really nice and comfortable for him, um, especially with the short sleeve, like nice and breathable, but a cute little two pack there. And then a couple last random home things I got. Um, I got a pack of hangers. <laughs> I have, you know, obsessed with these non-slip velvet hangers. I feel like I'm always talking about them. I recently showed you guys the pants ones that I got from Amazon. And when I got those, they're great, but I realized I actually desperately needed like regular hangers too. So if I'm not ordering velvet hangers on Amazon, I I just pick them up at Target. They have this 10 pack for I think like $13 I want to say something like that. I'll, again I'll put the price here but they have these 10 packs there and I think they have bigger boxes of them too. They also have black ones if you prefer the black color. I like to go for these lighter ones because it helps me see what's actually in my closet and see the items hanging on them um, but it's just a good like if I'm out of hangers when I'm at Target next time I just pick up a pack like this. Then this is a cute little clock I got. <laughs> kind of random. I told you guys it was random but we are in the process of setting up our well we've pretty much set up our home gym totally now I showed you guys that on Instagram and um, I am now in the phase of waiting for my Peloton I am waiting 
I've got one month down in my weight. I have another month to go. So my Peloton will be here in a month and I've been setting up the space where my Peloton bike is gonna go and I'm like styling bookshelves behind it. I don't know why. I'm thinking maybe I'll end up like taking meetings on there. I don't really know. It's just something to do. But one thing I noticed our, our home gym was missing was a clock and so I wanted like a super small little cute desk clock like this just to prop up somewhere in the gym because if I'm watching workouts or watching videos on my phone then I'm not keeping track of time on there and a lot of times I'm working out like when the boys are napping or in between Jordan's meetings and so a clock will help me keep track of time. <laughs> funny. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you guys. Like you don't know what a clock is, but this one's really cute. And I actually have felt like I had to track it down. Like I looked for the perfect desk clock on Amazon. I looked on Target's website. I looked in person and I just feel like I found it. So I feel like I need to explain its story to you guys. It's cute, white, gold, super simple, and it will prop up nicely and it's battery operated. What more can you ask for in a desk slash garage workout room clock? Got a couple drink koozies. Um, these were just in the back of the store in like the Sun Squad, that's what it's called, the Sun Squad section. And they have a really cute like pineapple print on them, but I love things like this for when we go on walks or again going to the beach. And sometimes like we have some of these from different branded things we did. Like we have some from when we went zip lining or you know, random things like that. But you end up, I cannot hold on to these. You end up getting these I feel like collecting them with a bunch of different brand names on them and they just look like messy to me. So it's very random. They were like $3 each, but I was just like, oh, those are cute. And I like the fact that they match and that they don't have some random, you know, skydiving company like splashed across them. And then the very last thing, so funny, this is actually the first thing I got in this haul and it's this clean and dirty sign. This is by Hearth and Hand. It was $12.99 and I got this for our dishes because we, I do the dishes and Jordan does them and like I feel like we never know if they're actually clean or dirty in the dishwasher and if you are like us and oftentimes have a dirty kitchen, it can just be hard to keep up with and the worst is when you pull out a plate and a spoon, a plate and a spoon. When you pull out a bowl and a spoon and like you eat a bowl of cereal and then at the end you realize that it was dirty silverware and stuff. So I got this just so that every time we do the dishes we can like flip it. It either says dirty or clean, super simple, but I just love the concept. I think that is just like so smart. I know they make magnets like that for the dishwasher too, but Christian would just pull that off. So I like that we can keep this on the counter and just keep track of it for ourselves. And funny story, I went to Target for this one sign and came out with everything else in this haul over the course of a few days. But this sign is responsible for this haul. Oops. All right guys, so that's everything for today's Target haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you found any good things yourself at Target or if you picked up anything in this video. Um, let me know any other requests you guys have for future videos because I would love your ideas for the next few weeks. I'm always planning out a little bit ahead. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.